Hello everyone, and welcome to this overview video on how to get started with the Datasmith Exporter plugin for SketchUp. I'll start by installing the plugin, which I've downloaded directly from the Twinmotion webpage. I'll just click Next and follow the prompts. You'll notice it automatically detects which SketchUp versions I have installed on my computer. And I'll click Install to install it on all three of those. Once that's done, I'm ready to start to use the plugin. So I'll open a sample project. Now that I have my SketchUp file open, you'll notice I have a Datasmith toolbar that's visible here. If I don't see it, you can go into View Toolbars and check off the Datasmith toolbar here. The first icon is to synchronize with the direct link. The second icon is to manage the connection. The third icon is to export a Datasmith file. And the fourth icon is to show messages and logging. So the first workflow is the direct link. And to do that, you'll have to start Twinmotion first. Once you have a Twinmotion project open, you can click Import and go to the Import Direct Link. And you'll see under your source, you already have your SketchUp project selected. If you have more than one SketchUp file open, you can pick which one you want to establish a direct link. And then you can choose how you want to organize your material. So here I'm just going to say Collapse by Material and click OK. Now I have to bring in the content. And to do this, I have to go back to SketchUp and click on the synchronize icon. Once that's done, I can look in the scene graph and see all the geometry that was brought in organized by the material. And now I can see my project. If I need to make any changes, I would go back to SketchUp and click on the synchronize icon after changes I've made into SketchUp and they will be brought in inside of Twinmotion. If you need to keep working on an existing project with a direct link, you'll just have to open Twinmotion and SketchUp and it should automatically detect your direct link. So this is the first workflow on how to bring in the content. The second workflow is to bring in a Datasmith file. So I'm just going to click on the import menu, go to the geometry and find the Datasmith file that I've already saved before. Once I select my Datasmith file, I can open the Options menu and decide how I want to organize my material, and I'm going to select Collapse by Material. Once the content is brought in, you can start working in, in your scene and project. If you need to make changes, you'll just have to export a new Datasmith file and go to the menu here and click Refresh if you uh, saved it on the same name. Or if you change the name, you would just click relocate and specify the path where that new Datasmith file is. This concludes the overview on how to get started with the plugin. And I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.